uh, today we're going to do a, a demonstration to show how um, water conditioners can ameliorate the um, negative effects that hard water can have on pesticide performance. And the demonstration consists of using a, an iron salt and a blue indicator. And we're going to use a range of different water conditioners to, to, to show um, how they work and, and, and compare their effects. So in these flasks, I've, I've got 100 millilitres of deionized water. And I'm going to make this deionized water hard water by adding an iron chloride solution at 1%. So now these flasks contain hard water, what we're going to do is we're going to add a blue indicator which represents the pesticide. And what you can see is that the blue indicator has reacted with the hard water and it shows that the pesticide that will react with, with hard water cations has now been locked up and it's now going to be ineffective as a pesticide. So what we're going to do in the second flask is use a water conditioner to control the hard water cations. So we put a very small amount of the water conditioner into the second flask. And that water conditioner now is working and it's sequestering all the hard water cations. So that when we add our pesticide, we shouldn't see a reaction. So now all the pesticide remains in solution in a biologically active form. It has not reacted with the hard water cations. And it's very important to highlight that you must add the water conditioner before you add the pesticide to prevent these reactions from happening. In the second class, we're going to use a different type of water conditioner. And this is a water conditioner based on ammonium sulfate. So in goes the ammonium sulfate water conditioner, it's added first, and then again we add our pesticide. Shake. And what you can see is that actually this solution remains a light blue colour. It's not as dark blue as this one. So the ammonium sulphate has done a partial job of conditioning the water, not a full job. Because the true water conditioner has protected the pesticide totally. The ammonium sulphate has only protected half the pesticide. And ammonium sulfate actually works through a competitive action. It does not sequester cations and lock them up to prevent the reactions occurring between the pesticide and the hard water cations. It simply competes with the hard water cations. Many people like to use an ammonium sulfate water conditioner with glyphosate, but that is not necessarily the correct thing to do because glyphosate is um, a chelator in its own right. And it has a much greater affinity for hard water cations than the ammonium sulfate would. So what I'm going to do in this final flask is condition the water with ammonium sulfate again. I'm 
I'm going to add the pesticide again. So we have our light blue colour. And then I'm going to take this glyphosate product. this last and what you'll see is that the glyphosate will outcompete the ammonium sulfate for the hard water cations and the solution goes clear. So the ammonium sulfate has been added to try and nullify the effects of hard water but actually what's happened is the glyphosate has still been locked up by the hard water cations. The right way to condition water the glyphosate use is with a true water conditioner, like this product here. That way, all your glyphosate remains in a, in a biologically active form in the way it needs to be to work in the plant.